So uh, in order to take part in this tutorial, you're going to need to download just one file, and that's a disk image file that I made called glitchcodictutorial.iso, which should be linked either below or somewhere around this video. Um, so go ahead and click on that, and while that downloads, I, I wanted to sort of present a, a particular kind of framework uh, for this tutorial. And because quotes are good at those kinds of uh, setups, I want to start with one by a prominent American deconstructionist named J. Hillis Miller. And Miller described deconstruction this way. He said, deconstruction is not a dismantling of the structure of a text, but a demonstration that it has already dismantled itself. It's apparently solid ground is no rock, but thin air. And this is the kind of, uh, in some ways, this is the kind of uh, perspective or approach to glitch art that I'm pushing for or hoping uh, to get to by the end of this tutorial. And glitching, glitching is a kind of tactful exploitation of systems, of digital and technological uh, systems. And this glitch codec tutorial is about exploiting one very particular kind of hack. And hacking is all about making use of other, other kinds of uses, and glitching is all about hacking. And so glitch art um, can be about raising awareness of these other kinds of uses. Um, and, and I think this awareness is important because it can establish a kind of critical relationship between users and computers that, that isn't normally there by default. Um, and it's that kind of critical relationship I'm hoping to create for others by presenting uh, this process that, though systematic, is all about uh, destroying systems or instigating a kind of self-destruction of systems. So this hack always exists in the present and never in the past because every use of the glitch codec necessitates a new destruction of a codec file at the code level, creation by destruction. And I'm hoping that is going to make a little bit more sense at the end of this tutorial. Um, destruction, in this case, is used to refer to this demonstration of the system's appeared self-dismantalization. And, and the reason I say appeared self-dismantalization is because um, computers don't really make mistakes. Users input stuff and machines output stuff. Um, a glitch is really just an unexpected output, which by catching us off guard makes us aware of the medium, its structure, and its politics, which are really there the whole time. Um, but the error is actually a human one, which either belongs to the programmer or belongs to the user. But we prefer to place the onus on the machine, so we call this occurrence a glitch. Now, when somebody intentionally or desirably instigates a glitch, that can be understood as glitch art. Um, and understanding the, the nature of glitch art, um, the means, the methods, and the situation in which it's invoked can establish that kind of critical relationship to digital media and culture uh, that I was talking about. So the glitch coded tutorial itself can be discussed as glitch art, but it's important to note that this tutorial is something that's always experienced, not just observed. It's a process, not a product.